Hey, how's it going? So basically undeniable, undeniable evidence that league is just 100% rigged, 100% rigged. So look, if you go through my games, so we played Summoner's Rift, right? Look, so this was game one. This is the outcome of the game, right? I mean, it's just not even close, right? Now, this guy is uh, almost silver player, I think, right? He's not uh, super good, but I mean, he's, uh, he, he kind of hits a lot, honestly. Now, he didn't counter I mean, same outcome, 0-9. Then he picked Trindemir versus Trindemir. It was even worse. He was better off playing Tom Kench, honestly. He had no money, so he had to go for whatever he, whatever he could buy. All right, so... The next thing I decided to do, you know what I'm going to do, is we are going to play two on two. And I'm going to take this guy, who is a bit of a inter, right, into my team. And I see the outcome. Because I know one player I can carry. One player I can carry. Because I typically can stomp my lane, and then I can probably carry. And it turned out to be true. We won every single game. With him on my team. I mean, he does his usual thing where he just ints hard. He was playing against this guy. Um, so he got him fed. But, um, I mean, Trindemir into Yasu is pretty good, honestly. And then, of course, this guy was against me, top lane. He went 0 4 and he just rage quit, basically, right? So 1, right? Now I'm going to show you the outcomes, right? Really, 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 really quick, right? Uh, so this was, so this was seven. So this is another one. Him on my team again. This guy rage quit, and this guy beat him. I wonder what level is this guy. So he's bronze three. Oh shit! I wish there was a better way to do this. Okay, four one. What level was this guy? Silver four. And he's, I think, he's like bronze five, right? But notice, notice something. He had no problem, no problem, beating this guy, who was, um, I think, two divisions, one division ahead of him, right? Well, that's not really a super good indicator, but I mean, okay, let's look at this game. This guy rage quit against me again. I play Jax. I'm not super good with Jax. <clears throat> he inted, as usual. And then um, I had to carry him. What level was this guy? Yeah, so you see he's gold 4. Wait, uh, this is a Jax game, right? So he's gold 4. And this guy's silver 4. Right, but what I'm trying to tell you is, like, if you give me, and, like, he goes 1. So think about this this game, right? This guy is bronze 4. Right, this guy is silver and this guy is gold, and I had no problems winning this game, no problems whatsoever. Right? <clears throat> then um, I swapped him in here. Obviously, he went top against me. I mean, he inted hard. This guy was inting as well, and then I had to beat this guy up a little bit. I think that's that's a guy from a previous game, right? Simke? No, it's not him. So let's see there. Okay, so this guy's silver four. This guy's bronze four. This guy's also silver four. But I mean, this wasn't even a close game. I mean, I was just so far ahead. I had probably more gold than both of them combined. Yeah, 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 I had more gold too. So. And look at my levels as well. So this one was 5-0. Yeah, this guy rage quit, I think. What level was this guy? He's not even ranked. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's Yasuo, I think, from my game, right? Oh, no, that's the Mordekaiser. Simke 6 Yeah, yeah, that's him. So you see, like, whoever gets me on their team basically wins. Right, and I would probably say whoever gets this guy on their team will lose. Right, so think about it this way, right? Like I did it specifically to see 
if I were to construct an algorithm, if I were to control um, in this scenario, I wanted to build a system, let's say, okay, how would I want to guarantee a win? Guarantee a win. So let's say this guy bought a skin. He bought a skin. I want him to be guaranteed a win. He puts him on my team, right? We put him on my team. And then we put two average players on this team. Guarantee the win. Now, we want to get this guy to lose, right? We want to get this guy to lose. So we take him and we put him on this team. And we take Sinke. He was a better player and put him on my team. This guarantees a loss. Guarantees. There's no way he can win, right? In this game, there was one game where I probably might have lost, honestly. Um, so if you take, yeah, this, this looks was ex extremely bad. I think, I think there was a chance if you take this Lux, this Lux, right? He was just exceptionally bad player, right? If you take this Lux and you put her on my team, there is a chance I might have lost. Right? But in 2-on-2, two two, it's very hard to control win and loss rate. That's why League of Legends, I think, is like a five-player game. right? Because the problem, starts, the problem starts when you take players that do this to you. right? You see, like, go 0-4, and then you multiply them. Because it's, it starts to get close to impossible to carry. And then you also have to factor in that crowd control starts to multiply right so you can imagine if there's like four players in here with supports your ability to carry becomes almost nullified right and we're talking about four and four five on five it's even worse you you're talking exhausts you're talking crowd control you're talking slows you're talking other champions getting extremely fat because you have to think about it right I can counter his feeding with me getting fed on their player and just pushing him behind, right? Because I can control the minion waves, right? All, all that magical stuff. And he gets further and further behind in gold while my gold increases. So if this guy is inting, I can supplement his gold with my gold. If that makes sense, that will keep it balanced. But if you start multiplying this process and keep adding this process it becomes impossible impossible for you to actually compensate for these guys that's what i'm saying it's so rigged and it's so easy so so easy to spot a good player and a bad player right so let, let's let, let's talk uh, about him i mean he's a nice kid but as a player right okay what do we know distinctive about him right his farming is always bad right he plays different champion different roles all the time he has no specialism whatsoever right and he usually has bad kda so look let, let's count the champions so syndra right renekton echo Lee Sin, right let's do five yeah, fees. So, you see what I'm saying? Five games, five different champions, right? I asked him, like, what champions do you main? And he gave me 20 champions. Does that make sense? So, it's very easy. You're saying, oh, it's not rigged. Some people say, oh, whatever, it's not rigged, blah, blah, blah. You have to understand, it's the population of League of Legends is astronomical. There's, like, 30 million or something, like, players. What's the server size for... EU West League server size. Player base, maybe. Yeah, EU West, 34 million players. 34 million players, right? So, are you trying to tell me that the algorithm cannot spot the good players? Now, you also have to factor in, you can artificially, let's say that we don't have enough gold players uh, to control the algorithm. We can take silver player, silver 2, put him on a winning streak, 
and get and put him into the gold division so that he will be artificially there, right? So we can balance out some... That's why you see, like, I play some games in gold. I was like, dude, dude that guy's not supposed to be here. Or in platinum. Like, that guy's... There's no way this guy's platinum. One-on-one, -on -one, I see it all the time, right? So there is a bit of that. And I'm, I'm, I'm showing you, like, real examples of... Like, I have 100% win rate. 100% win rate, right? But if I go into... If I do my placement matches right now, I'll be probably placed into bronze. And I will have something like, I don't know, 85% win rate in bronze, probably. In silver, it's probably going to drop. Gold, it's even worse. Once I get to plat, it's going to get to like 55. Do you know what I mean? Even though, even though, I can do this to most games. Even if you, if, if you, even if you put gold players or plat players against me, I can still do that. Now, I don't think I'm going to win against two platinum players with this guy on my team. That I... Um, I can probably promise you, right? But overall, overall, <clears throat> do you see my point? Do you see my point? My point is very simple. There is an algorithm that controls your win rate. It pushes you to 50%, and it encourages you to play a lot of games, a lot of games, right? And it's rigging the process of your climbing so that to slow you down. Right. Why? Because the longer you play the game, the more money you're likely to spend. And that's it. Right. That's it. Now, if I was a bad player, there's no way, there's no way I could have won 100% of the games. There's no way I could have went on 1,200 winning streak. Right. That's my record high in one-on-one. -on -one. Right. And yet, when I play league, uh, the algorithm really messes me over. Sometimes you get four players like this on your team. It's just it's unplayable. I mean, it's just not playable, right? So, for anybody who doubts, who anybody who doubts, it's real. There's the rigging of the system to slow you down. Now, not to say, not to say that you cannot climb in the game. You can, right? I'm not saying you cannot climb. You can climb in League of Legends. I've done it myself multiple times. The problem is. It's deliberately created to slow you down. Why? Because they want to slow down the process of climbing as much as possible because they know that most players, they have a certain goal in mind. Most of the time it's diamond. Once they hit diamond, they're probably not going to play again. I personally can tell you that's correct because once I hit my, I don't know, I, had, I wanted one time to level up an account to platinum. It took me uh, three weeks to do it. I, I took basically time off work because I was burned out. So I just wanted to kind of zone into something different. So I, for three weeks, I just played the league nonstop every single day. And I got to platinum, right? And then for the whole year, I did not play at all because I had no motivation to play, right? So they do not want that, right? You have to understand this is a free-to-play game. They have to make money somehow. So they will slow you down. And if you want, you want to look at, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, you want to look at this, basically. Again, it's a Harvard article, right? And this tells you how they rig the matchmaking systems, right? It happens in every single game, in every single Valorant is going to be the same. Um, I think Counter-Strike is the uh, There was even one where... They were nerfing good players' aim in Call of Duty, I think, so that other players had a chance to play against them, right? So they were pushing a good player to 50% win rate and so that lobbies are more balanced. Does that make sense? And that's, that's like, factually been confirmed, right? So, I mean, if shooting games are going to nerf your aim, think about, um, think about the algorithm that balances the teams. I mean, it's going to be 100% rigged. All right, so this is just evidence I showed you, right? If you have any arguments, please write them down. Again, do not tell me that, oh, how come other players can climb? Most Now, on my on my channel, you can have, find a video where I did research into is spamming games actually beneficial for your rank, right? And it turns out it is, 
right? So for example, you have challenge, you have two challenger players. One of them is, let's say, professional player. Another guy is a just solo queue player. There's no way professional player is worse than the solo queue player, right? But, 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 the solo queue player is going to be higher rank than the professional player. Because professional player simply does not have the time to play that many games. And because in League of Legends, I mean, think about it this way, right? Most of the time when you win, you get 20 points. If you lose, you lose like 13, right? Sometimes you plus 25, minus 11, right? But you see, the more games you play, the more LP you get, just based on the system alone. So spamming games also works, right? So you're saying, like, is there a difference between, for example, platinum player and mid-gold player? No. The difference is that platinum players simply played more games. And that's it. I had a... Uh, I deleted it, but I mean, I had a um, lady. She... Every single season, she was diamond, right? And I met her in a couple of lobbies when I was leveling up um, an account. I was like, there's no way she can be diamond. She just does not play as a diamond player. And then I looked at she... Every single season, she played two and a half to three thousand games every single season to understand the quantity of games that is so many hours but even though she's not super good i'd say she may be like upper silver low gold player but she was diamond why because she kept putting in spamming the games her skill is still the same but the quantity of games is so vast riot system rewards this I did the same for challenger players. I looked at them and I said, no, no, those, some of those guys are, they're not like, they're not better than professional players, but yet they were top five in the challenger ladder. So I said, no, that's not, that's not correct. Right. So I'm saying all of this is a waste of your time, right? If you want to enjoy the game, play custom and stay away from the algorithm, stay away from it. All right. That's it. Take care.